Hi, I'm John Van Grinsven. I'm a math teacher here at St. Genevieve High School. I'm also a graduate, class of 75. Hello, Valiants. Originally, my majors in uh, college was history and liberal studies. And after I graduated, I applied to many positions to become a history teacher. No one wanted me. But then I applied to St. Genevieve as a history teacher. They said they had no room, but they knew me because I was a graduate. And they said, we think you might be good in algebra. And I took that job 42 years ago. I'm still here today. If you can beat me in a game of tic-tac-toe, you don't have to come back for any more algebra. Oh, my teaching style has evolved over years. When I first started, I taught like I had been taught, which was not very good, but, but I was still a teacher. But then I've, over the course of time, I learned that um, you need to have fun in class and work hard. You need both components. Originally, I was just a hard worker and demanding, and that didn't prove strong enough to get the best results. Then I kind of went to having more fun, which wasn't as good because then I wasn't teaching as much. But then I drew a balance that uh, we want to have fun, making the kids want to be in class, but then working hard, the best of both worlds. But it took time and experience to learn that. There's uh, one particular student that I always remember. He came back after he graduated, and he came back specifically to talk to me and wanted to apologize about his behavior. He was difficult in class, and I struggled with that with him. But after a while, after many years, he came back and he said, Mr. Van, I want to apologize that I was such a pain in your class, but I want to let you know I learned so much. You taught me so much. And it finally, in my mind, said, you know what? Maybe I won't get the results and see the results of what I taught the students immediately. It could be years later. And that's where I learned that lesson, that the results can be much down the line. So it helps me get through those challenging times.